Hello, my name is Tünde Cséfány. I am the leader of Neuroimmunological Unit at the Department of Neurology, University of Debrecen. About 400 MS patients had been treated at our department for more than 20 years. MS is a lifelong disease affecting young adults. It can lead to significant neurological disability. The incidence of the disease varies worldwide, affecting up to 2.5 million people. Our epidemiological investigation suggested 77 pro 100,000 population in the city of Debrecen. The primary goal of the treatment of patients with MS is slowing or stabilizing the long-term course of the disease. The first immunomodulatory drug, interferon beta 1b, was introduced in 1993 and three other injectable types became available in the following 10 years. They are first-line options to treat the active relapsing remitting MS patients. At present, there are no biomarkers to give us an idea of how different individuals will respond to any given therapy. We present data from a nine-year prospective study in Debrecen, in Hungary. Our aim with this study was to identify clinical factors as possible predictors to clinical outcome. We assess clinical efficacy of immunomodulatory therapy on relapses and long-term immunomodulatory therapy on disability. We evaluated a possible relation of the functional disturbances at onset of disorder in response to therapy. We evaluated whether clinical characteristics of MS patients when immunomodulatory treatment was initiated were different in responders as compared with non-responders. And evaluated the adherence of patients and how well they tolerate the drugs in long-term treatment. We found that the treatment efficacy expressed as annual relapse rate and change in clinical severity from baseline did not depend on the specific immunomodulatory treatment or on the initial appearance of the disease. Responders had shorter disease duration and milder clinical sign at the initiation of the treatment. The degree of progression in the EDSS were not different among the groups at two years and four years and became different only after six years. Relapse rate reduction in the initial two years of treatment predicted clinical efficacy in the further years. Finally, based on these observations, we suggest that a two-year trial period is sufficient to decide on the efficacy of a specific immunomodulatory treatment. For those with insufficient relapse reduction at the first two years of treatment, different immunomodulatory treatment or another therapeutic approach is recommended. Thank you for your attention.